hi, hello, and howdy. It's me, Mushy, and you're, well, you're you. Hello, you. And we're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting for a small unbagging uh, from GBFKE. Nathan at GBFKE appreciated the last video we did, so he asked if he could send some more stuff for me to show you guys. And um, yeah, so I picked some things and I'm going to show them to you. And yeah, there's there's the that on that. I, I was really pleased with uh, my last GBFKE unbagging. So I'm excited to bring this stuff to you. I'm going to reach in the goodie bag and see what the first item we picked was. It was diamond painting. They call it uh, diamond painting finish. I'm not sure what the WLWL indicates. I have not used this brand before, but if you're familiar with my channel or you've seen me on TikTok, I do, uh, I do do there. There's that do do again, every video. <laughs> I do do a lot of um, coaster sets and I do seal my diamond paintings when I'm finished with them. And uh, so, yeah, I'm in constant need of a steady supply of diamond painting, glue, finish, sealant, whatever you want to call it. Um, it says, has, uh, it has instructions here, if the camera would focus, but it won't, but it will, but it won't. Okay, trust me, they're instructions. <laughs> and it's your basic um, diamond painting sealant. Thought I'd give this a try and see how it works out for us. Uh, always useful and handy to have that. So then I also chose a ceramic like cutter knife pen. It's a ceramic like blade, but it's in a pen type shape. And, and look... <laughs> <laughs> Here goes Mushy. I can really use the ceramic cutting blade now to get into the package with the ceramic cutting blade. <laughs> oh, Mushy, there. It has a peel. It has a peel open bottom. I'm just being a dum dum. Um, but yes, here is our pen, uh, ceramic pen cutter what they call it here it does have a nice little clip here if you want to clip it to your painting or, or to a notebook uh, and then you take the cap off as you can see it does have a sharp little ceramic nub in there so it should cut the plastic cover sections away from your diamond painting but without cutting your actual painting and these are always handy to have especially if you um section your diamond painting and you like to cut away the pieces of plastic as you work these are always super handy to have so very nice i like that it had the clip this clippy thing on here to attach to the canvas super nice loving that and then i decided that i didn't have enough pink in my life so i decided to go ahead and get a pink diamond painting pen yay you guys look a pink diamond painting pen. <laughs> okay, so the truth of the matter is <laughs> that um, I do like the marbled, like, smoky effect in the pen, but it must have been middle of the night mushy who selected this because um, in her right mind, middle of the day mushy would never have picked pink, but I can't be mad about it because it was my choice. Um, if I could get this open. Ah, success got it open I can't be mad because it, it was me that chose this but I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking I can feel Jack laughing at me right now I can feel Jack laughing I can feel Eileen laughing and I can feel I don't know a couple hundred of you laughing at me right now thank you <laughs> just know that I already know that you're laughing at me and you don't need to tell me in the comments below Okay. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I'm struggling here. There are multi-placers. There we go. Got it out of the bag. So it came in that bag and here, so you guys can see is the pen. It has that really kind of cool ribbony effect in there. I really like pens that look like that. Uh, it does come with a single placer with a metal tip here on one end and it came pre-planted with a multi-placer on this end. I do not see a number designated so uh, you know your guess is as good as mine. I'm going to say this is probably an eight placer and you just pop it out like that and you can pop a different one in. 
and doesn't screw it's just a pop-in kind it's a peg situation this one's kind of tough to get in mm. but it's doing it <laughs> that one doesn't want to fit in there and I noticed that these are kind of um, foggy whereas this is clear so I'm not sure if this one was supposed to go with this because it doesn't want to like fit in there appropriately but that I would say is probably maybe a five placer and then we have or a four placer and then we have a two placer will you go in the hole you're a little tough too but you went all the way in so there you go it's a two or three placer there and then you also have a straightener so if you like to diamond paint and you need to straighten as you go got a straightener here so that you can just flip your pin over straighten continue along straighten so very nice handy little kit to have a fantastic color absolutely my favorite color of life ever love that for me why why did i do this to myself i probably was like haha this will be funny <laughs> i'll pick like a pink one for myself oh mushy you suck okay yeah there we go there's our pink pen and multi-placers what else did i get uh, i got another pen some of you may have seen this i've kind of seen it here and there floating about um i got this ergonomic diamond painting pen oh it's bedazzled with a little diamond that's cute it's very cute and it does have this um like wishbone kind of shape to it and down here there are like nubbin indents and here's your diamond painting situation and so basically what this is used for is to hold something like this and diamond paint this way and this is supposed to be a little bit more ergonomically friendly there's an indent on here if you want to use it that way looks like this is probably the best way to use it um and this might be helpful i uh, oh, the reason i got this is my daughter has psoriatic arthritis and my gem fell out did my gem fall out a gem fell off do we get an extra gem yeah oh it had two diamonds and one of the diamonds fell out the sad panda this makes for a sad mushy. I need my bling. Give me back my bling. This looks like a job for sundown. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, the, it. I can glue that right back in. Not a big deal. But anyway, back to my story. So I got this because Allie has psoriatic arthritis. And a lot of like, she does a lot of writing by hand. Uh, and diamond painting, obviously, with a normal pen you know like so and after a while it gets to hurting her hands and her wrists they get fatigued and we saw this and thought that this might be a good option for her to try to diamond paint with this sort of motion versus this sort of motion as a normal pen i mean you could still use it like that you could use it up and down you could use it like twi however it would benefit you but she just felt like this seemed as if it might be easier on her wrists, especially on days like today when it's stormy out and um, the rain and the cold kind of get to her symptoms flaring. So we did get that. And of course, you know me, I had to get a diamond painting canvas. And you may have seen in a recent video, uh, and I'm not sure if it'll be out yet or or it'll be the next one but you if you haven't seen you will see that I have been collecting these zombie I guess little zombie girl diamond painting canvases I'm trying to get the entire set I saw one on the site that I did not already have and of course I had to get it so here she is this is a 30 by 40 canvas and we've got this and I, i'm not sure if these are like little zombie girls or little dolls because this does look a little porcelain there are some like cracks it seems right here some of them look more zombie-esque in the series some of them look more 
um, porcelain doll. This looks like to be more on the porcelain doll side. She does have the telltale ro roses of being one of the girls in the series. So I did see this and thought, I got it. I got to have it. I'm missing it from my set. And I like GBFKE's diamond painting canvases. So um, yeah, this was a no brainer for me. There we go. A little bit better. Maybe not. <laughs> Sundown is my my canvas roller. We do have really good stick on there. And as usual, let us see what we see with the Rulee. All right, let's see. Um, just over 30 overall canvas size, but it looks like it was miscut. If it had been cut on the blue line, it would have been the 30. But our active drill space is 25. So we lose um, five centimeters on the horizontal and let's see, the vertical canvas is just shy of 40 total for the canvas. And the active drill space on the vertical is approximately 34 centimeters. So we do lose six on the vertical for bordering. That is um, something that I usually do expect uh, really from most diamond painting companies. When they say 30 by 40, I expect that to um, include the entire canvas not just the drill field though what i would prefer is if it were reflective of the drill field that's kind of what we all hope when we get a diamond painting in a certain you know we buy for size we hope the drill field is going to be the size we ordered but it is common practice and kind of become expected that you know we are going to get a canvas of 30 by 40 40 by 50 whatever the measurement is and it's going to be our drill drill field is going to be smaller than the actual size of the canvas that we ordered because they do include the borders um in that measurement so not mad about it i you know you, i always hope i always hope that i get a, a order a 30 by 40 or whatever size and I always hope that the drill field will be that size, but I don't expect it always to be, depending on company. Um, and so what we get here is we get a thumbnail and a serial number and size. Oops, there you go. At the top, we do get a table on one side and we get a table down here at the bottom. It's the exact same table. It's just in two locations so that when while you're diamond painting, if you're working down here, you have it down here. If you're working up here, you have it up here. Um, there is the thumbnail. I'll peel the paper back so you can see. There it is. That's what she should look like when we're done. The concept art for us there. There's the serial number and the size. And in case we didn't know, it does tell us this is a diamond painting. Yay! <laughs> Whew! So good to know. We do have an alphabet system for our table on this one. It is not in alphabetical order. It is in DMC code order. So it'll just take a little, like one extra step when we're done kidding up, if you kid up this way. Uh, when I'm done kidding up, I'll just have to organize the the containers in alphabetical order. Not a big deal. It's just a little bit of shuffling. Never hurt nobody. Um, we are starting at 154. No special drills and ending at 3860 on this canvas. Here are the letters and symbols. We do have black and white letters. We have light and dark colors. I don't see anything on the table that looks too sketchy to me in terms of dark letters on dark colors. Let's take a look at the drill field and the canvas. That looks to be clear, easily legible. I don't really see any symbols that are jumping out at me as being difficult to read. There's some confetti. There's quite a bit of confetti in this one. I'm not mad about it. That's what gives us our definition and dimension. Words are hard. <laughs> it does not look like there's any color blocking, even in this darker area down here. It's a confetti mixture. This is going to be a confetti heavy diamond painting. So what else comes in the kit is your, your standard tool kit with your single placer pen, a piece of wax, and a boat. 
And then we have our drills. This packet comes with Ziploc baggie drills. Yay! My favorite. The easiest for me to work with. Or if you happen to work out of baggies and you don't use a container system to kit up, this would be a great option. It does have the HQ494 and it tells you it's number 17 so it has the canvas serial number on here if you store your drills separate you'll be able to tell this belongs with this canvas and it tells you it's table number 17 and that way you can figure out if uh, you know which which symbol you're working with and there is a big serial number sticker here which is great I'm going to turn the light back around. Sorry about any glare, but here is our color palette, folks. Lots of dark browns, grays, lighter grays. There's a bit of, of dark lavender type situation or mauve, if you will. Um, there's some pale tealish kind of color. I see some rose colors, some red browns. So very dark, earthy cool toned palette my absolute favorite so i am really happy with this i am wondering about how the roses and the detail with the roses are are going to turn out but i don't expect a lot of detail in a diamond painting of 30 by 40. so uh, i will just be happy if we can get a general impression of some roses here i don't need it to be fully detailed she does have some flowers on her dress. That'll be fun to see. I see as a white dress with the flowers on it. I think that'll make the flower part pop, you know, pop out at us. And uh, it's this blonde hair or cap right here. Um, yeah, I like the red eyes. I'm very interested in doing this one. I cannot wait to start this series, and I'm glad I found her to add to my 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 collection. Yay! <laughs> All right, you guys. So let's take a look at the haul together and see what we think. Here you are, you guys. This is everything I got. I got my sealant, a pen with multiple uh, different multi-placing tips and a single placer tip with a metal uh, on the end, which is always really nice being a ruler user. Uh, happy to see that. We've got a ceramic pen cutter uh, is what they call it, but it, it's a ceramic blade and pen form to cut the plastic off of your diamond painting if that's the way you work with it. Um, and then an ergonomic diamond painting pen for my daughter to try out. And we got our one of our missing links in the series of these you know, zombie girls with the floral accents. So what do you got? What do you guys think? Everything I showed you here is linked in the description down below, as well as a link to the website for GBFKE. Thank you, Nathan, for sending me these goodies to show my friends and for me to add to my collection. I'm very excited to work on this. I appreciate it so much. And you guys, with that we're done that was it for this all that's left is cleanup and that's my job that's not for you i won't make you stick around for that thank you so much for hanging out and seeing what i got my hands on definitely go check out gbfke they have all kinds of different crafty goodness they've got diamond painting stuff as you can see from canvases to tools to sealant you know pens accessories but they also have other crafts too so if you do like crochet or you know the um what is that thing that the needle goes through and comes out you know what i mean not sewing but close to sewing embroidery like that's one crocheting knitting embroidering painting diamond painting they have tons of different crafts over there something for everyone definitely go check them out and with that it's time for me to clean up. I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Stay naughty.